Welcome to Thermaltronics here at IPC Apex Expo. Uh, delighted to be joined by Michael Goldsmith, uh, who's a director of uh, Thermaltronics. Good to see you again, Michael. Yeah, good to see you too, Trevor. Thank you. Now, last time we spoke, we, we looked in depth at your uh, benchtop uh, automatic soldering system here. You've made a few changes and upgrades to that benchtop since we last spoke. Uh, maybe you can tell me about some of these. Yes, uh, I think the great thing with uh, products like this is you're driven by customers. Mm -hmm. Customers help you make the change and in this case we've added an option of uh, uh, flux dispensing. Okay. We are able to provide nitrogen if you need nitrogen mm -hmm. and we also have a, a desoldering capability as well if you want to do some special applications of pin and, and patch uh, soldering. Oh, pin and paste or pin something paste like that. Soldering, yes, pin and paste soldering. And we've in addition to our dynamic laser height control. We've added an additional feature of touch control for the tip to uh, enable you to add uh, a better pressure sensitive uh, mo movement to the soldering process so you don't press too hard. Right. Yeah. Okay, so so that, that's adjusting or, or controlling the, the Z force, uh, or the Newton, the, the, the Newton force, if you like, yes, in the Z exactly. axis. Yes, yes. And it, it, all of these options, as I said, are, are driven by customers. The more and more we find different applications, the more and more we find ways to improve the system. And those improvements will be carried forward to our next generation of uh, product, which will be an inline system. Right. Yeah, that's quite exciting. You've got an inline version coming uh, yes. uh, of, of the system. So uh, explain to me a little bit more about what's involved in that. Does it have additional features? Uh, it will have additional features such as uh, a, a, an underboard or an overboard heater yep. so to preheat the board. Uh, it will be able to do much larger board sizes, 450 by 550 millimeters, with full vision. Mm -hmm. Because if you remember before, we, we have vision mapping, dynamic laser height control, and we use fiducial marks for accuracy. Right. All of that will be transferred into the new machine. And the new machine will also have some additional features and benefits, which the smaller benchtop won't have. Primarily, we are driven again with this kind of product by customers. When we've talked to contract manufacturers about the, this robot, mm -hmm. it's an inline version that they want. Right. And this is what's driven us towards this unit. So we, we will have a system, we believe we will have a system which will be the best in the world. We, it will incorporate again the two dual independent operating heads mm -hmm. so we can replicate basically what a human operator is doing when the soldering process is taking place. Right. So we, it's, like, it's like one having the, the holding down the, the solder wire and the flux, the other one holding the soldering iron essentially. Correct, yes, absolutely correct. Many people have approached this uh, robotic soldering process by thinking first of the robot. Mm -hmm. We've come completely the opposite direction. We're a soldering iron company, mm -hmm. and we've tried to think, okay, what does an operator do, and how do they overcome the difficulties of soldering this board in that corner, or soldering that joint in that corner? How do they do it? Mm -hmm. And then we've translated that into a robot that can do it better than the operator, with repeatability, accuracy, and process control, and traceability. That's excellent. So the, the inline version uh, is, is still in uh, production. When, when can we expect to see it out? Uh, we expect a soft launch uh, probably in mid-year, May-June time. Mm -hmm. And then the full launch will be at Productronica in Germany in November. Right. But we will most likely put a system in to a contract manufacturer during that soft launch process. Right to get more feedback. Yeah, of course, you've got to do some beta testing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But in principle, the operation of the inline version mm -hmm. is not going to be much different than the benchtop because it will have all those features. Right. It will just have some additional things like the, the heating process mm -hmm. and it will have, it will still be fully rotatable. It will feed the board through the SMT line. It will do all the things that an AI machine might do in feeding the board. So, Excellent. yeah. Well, that's exciting times for you. So um, it is. You know. It's. Um, 
I, I don't usually get too excited about products anymore because I'm I've seen many of them over the years, but our new inline system to me is the best thing we've ever produced. And uh, we're really looking forward to the launch. Um, we spend a lot of time and a lot of effort making it. We have the accuracy of the machine will be superb. Mm -hmm. The flatness, we are looking at 0 0.004 microns. Wow. Yes. Okay. So it's, uh, it, it's going to be an excellent machine, we believe. Well, we look forward to seeing it. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll have a closer look at it when we get to, to Productronica. Oh, yes, you will definitely see it in Productronica. <laughs> and you might see it a little bit earlier in, in another trade show somewhere else. But I think one of the things that you just pointed out is beta testing is very important. So it depends how long that beta testing is going to take place. And, uh, but it's, it is an exciting time, yes. And very, very different, I believe, to any other uh, soldering robot in the market. Well, thank you for sharing that with us, Michael, and we wish you the best of luck with the continued development of the inline system. Thank you very much, Trevor, and look forward to seeing you in Productronica. Thank you. Thank you.